just a spoiler alert, it worked. That is my solar panel, that thing right there on, on to my left. Um, the panel works great and my setup worked well. I was just on the highway for like two hours. Wind, rain, lots of rain and wind. And this thing is solid. Yes, victory. So uh, it will help you, this video will help you. Good luck in your solar panel project. Welcome to the top of my van, everybody. Not very pretty up here, but uh, no one gets to see it, so that's okay. So what I'm doing today is putting on one of these flexible panels. I had one before. I've learned a few things about them. I want to share them with you, make this video really quick. Uh, so first thing I want to show you actually about flexible panels, as you can see where my old one was. The outline of it is right here. I'm putting the new one over top of it. Rule number one with these things is you can't put them right on the roof. If you do that, they're gonna burn out. They create a lot of heat. They're on the top of your car, on the top of your vehicle. It gets hot up there, even if there were, wasn't a solar panel up there. So when you put that up there, it just gets really hot because it's generating electricity for you. And if it's right on the roof, it has the, the heat has nowhere to go. So it burns itself out. I don't know what the technical term is, but that is a way I understand it. That happened to this one. It only lasted two years and then I had to peel it off. So what I'm doing with this panel, I'm going to be putting stuff under it to keep airflow going underneath it. Flexible panels are great because they don't weigh much and they're very discreet. You know, when I travel in my van, which is fairly regularly, I don't wanna make a big party of my van. I don't want anyone to know that it's anything other than a work van for the most part, you know? So that's what these things are good for. This brand here, it's my first time trying it. I think I had a Renegy one before. This is like an off-brand Chinese one or whatever. So anyways, we'll see how it works, but let's get into the install. I have a series of washers, rubber washers, and super glue is the other thing that I have. Um, basically, I glued four washers together so that it gives just enough lift and sturdiness to the base of the solar panel. I did four of them. Once they're glued together, I put them onto the screw, then I stick a rubber washer on either end of it to keep the water out. And I'll probably put some super glue on there as well as I drill it in. Um, I don't like drilling anything into my van, but uh, whatever, at this point, it's better than the alternative, which is just a broken solar panel. So I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm actually gonna be drilling into the old tape here where I can just to give it that extra watertight seal. Uh, down at that end, unfortunately, I can't do much about it. The other problem is on top of vans, there's these ribs. I might get enough lift with my washers to kind of accommodate for this metal touching the panel on the bottom, because that's gonna hold heat. But what can you do? Well, I did the best with the space I had available here. And as you can see, I put this side up on the uh, ridge in the roof here. And what that did was when I got to the last one on this end, it actually raised it off of this middle one so it's not sitting flat on it, you know? Just a bit of airspace. We've got heat escaping, and that's good. Now, obviously, this thing is a problem here. Uh, I might try and move that, but it's the least of my worries. I just needed some power in the van because uh, I was without a solar panel for most of the summer last year because I've, I showed you the uh, remains of the other one. It was just burnt out. So anyways, just want to make a quick video for those of you wondering how to do this. That's my method. It's super strong. This thing is not going anywhere. And as far as the wires go for the panel, they're just up there. Uh, I zip tied them against the uh, roof rack on this side so they're not gonna move as I drive. You don't want anything moving. That's the main thing. Uh, and the washers have taken pretty well. That's not perfect. I'm probably gonna add some super glue to uh, 
some of the sketchier spots. And that's the next step. So anyways, hope you learned something, everybody. Cheers.